Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Undertale. When last we left off, we had fallen into the garbage pits below. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few bands you recognize. Oh my. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. I get this distinct impression that uh, the monsters have acquired human culture from the garbage they've salvaged. There's a pile of yellow names in the trash pile. Oh no! Oh well. They were kind of old. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand. It shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Yes, please. Oh. Oh well. I've got it. I got an inventory full of nice cream. I might come back for it after I put my tough glove in a box. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Oh man. Someone needs anime badly. Oh wait, it's a dummy. Seems like a regular training dummy. You wanna beat it up? No! We talk to dummies, remember? You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Huh. What could it be? Oh no! The dummy's alive! And it makes the Gutsman's ass sound effect! Man, that was a meme from way back in the day. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said. Horrible. Shocking. Unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Oh my goodness. Hello, mad dummy. Uh, what are your stats? Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Oh man. Feeble, feeble, feeble! Oh, 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 the power of squiggles. Uh, oh, oh! Ow! You dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Uh, hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. Ah, looking nervous, eh? Well, maybe we can talk it out. If not, I know your weakness now. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul! That's grim. I'm sorry, but I like my soul right where it is, if you don't mind. Face the barrage of your own magical onslaught. Oh no, hopping mad. I guess expressed by him moving around. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Just, just hit, the, hit the dummy. only does three damage. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. I could take a few more hits. It'll be fine. Unless I keep taking more hits. I love this music. Doing an armless ska dance. Isn't this Napstablook's theme, but just sped up and with more instruments thrown in? Then everything I want will be mine. No matter what, it's awesome. Oh, gotta get all the way to the corner over there. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Hmm. You don't sound so convinced. Mad Dummy's getting caught all over the dialogue box. How sloppy. What was their name again? Hmm. You don't seem like you really care at all. Maybe you're just mad, yo. Whatever, whatever, whatever! He likes repeating things three times, doesn't he? Grr. That dummy's getting caught all over the feeble, feeble, feeble! Oh! Get him! Yeah! Hey, guys! Whoa! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! Oh, they seem really sad. <laughs> Now you'll see my true power, relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical whirs filled the room. Any change? Oh. Dummy bots, magic missile! Oh. Oh! Those are literal magic missiles. No wizard equivalent there. Dummy bots, try it again! There we are. Doing an armless sky dance. You're awful? Yeah. 
Maybe you were better off with the regular dummies, even though they were made of garbage. Oh, volley of rockets. Double volley of rockets. Dummy bots, final attack! Oh, even the regular dummies are getting in on this. Ah. Oh. 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 Thank you, invulnerability timer. I love you. No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! Whoa! Watch where you're tossing those things. Knives are dangerous. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You are... You need to calm down, mad dummy. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. Forever. Forever! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What the heck is this? Oh, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Huh. Hunk of despair, I see. Er, here. Napstablook. Long time no see. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Napstablook, no, don't worry about it. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Hey, uh, my house is up here. In case you want to see, or in case you don't. Napstablook, you feel a calming tranquility. You've, you're filled with determination. Napstablook, no, it, it's fine. I, I, I'd love to have fun with you. Cursor, go away. No, further away. Deeper into the deepest depths of the corner. This little bird wants to carry you across. No, thank you, little bird. But if I do need to get across, I'll sh be sure to come to you. Oh, the dummy. What? 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 It's a living. Hmm. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. I wonder who lives in that creepy fish house. Hmm. No, it's locked. Naps to pluck. Please. Your abode. Pretty threadbare. Oh, you really came. I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Nice. Uh, oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Hmm. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Oh, hence the headphones. Uh, do you want to listen to some tunes or something? I didn't know you were a musician. What's in the fridge? Mind if I have a snack? Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. Thanks, buddy. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? I'll try anything once. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. Awkward silence. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? If only because it will help you not feel like garbage. You know, to lie on the floor with someone nearby. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. So, this is what it feels like to be total garbage, eh? You, you do this after every meal, Napstablook? Oh? What happened to the music? Oh! Oh my god! The rest of the world is just fading away. There is nothing but ultimate cosmic truth here. After a fine meal, as it, as it digests deep in my stomach, Although made of nothing but air because I cannot eat ghost sandwiches, I am able to become truly one with the cosmos. I feel it. I feel the stars and the, the heavens above. 
swirling, roiling blackness and mysteries that the human mind has not been able to fully fathom. For there is no such thing as true chaos. Chaos is just something we cannot calculate yet. We are all one. All of the collected star stuff in the cosmos fuse together into atoms that make molecules, which make amino acids, which makes the proteins that fuel our very existence, born into cells that compose our body, our flesh, our bones, and our blood. Yes, this is what it's all been about. There is nothing that separates us except for the imaginary barriers that we create in our world. We are all one living community. Ah, oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Is this what happens every time you eat a sandwich? Well, that was nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to keep working on that mix CD. Okay. What do we have here? The CD is labeled Gula Day Music. Play it? I'll go for it. Oh, my God. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Dog oh, damn it, he's right. Hush you. What, what's this one? Spook tunes. Oh. Oh, a classic spook tune. They don't make songs like these anymore. It's okay. What do we got here? Spook wave. I'll go for it. Oh man. It's like spook tunes, but so much more. Dang, that ambiance. It's like my whole body is being spooked. <laughs> Naps the block, please. Uh... Alright, let's rumble. Oh, the music is still playing. What the heck is that music? <laughs> I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out. Wink. This is worse than Shiren. No way. Chiron is way less scary. Wink. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are winks of fear. Wink. Forget it. This beat is too... filthy. Wash. Wait. Don't leave me. Wink. Is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy? Wink. Please. Stop. I'll never creep again. Wink. Wah! Wink. Ugh. I'll teach you to suggestively wink all over the place. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to the Bluke family snail farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. That's weird. I imagine Toriel was your only customer, you know, considering she loves snails. Ooh, transparent. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Ah. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. So snaileth Sam Buell. What? I've been long overdue for a second house. The snail is counting dollar bills. Isn't G the currency? Yeah, whatever. What do we have over here? A racetrack? You want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. Snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. Ten gold to play. I'm, I'm down, I'm down. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Alright, alright, alright. Go get him, snail! Go get him! You got this! All the way! 100%! 150%! Oh no, oh, oh no! Oh my god. Snail, I'm so sorry, I pushed you too hard! All those childhood sports flicks that I watched, they've taught me nothing! If you just put too much pressure on a young and impressionable athlete, it will just destroy them! Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna try it again. Give him a fair shake. Do it right. Go for it, snail. Go for it. Yeah, you got this. Keep going. You can do this! You! You are the star! It's you! 120% is too many percents! You know what? 100% is just fine. You do you, yellow snail. You do you.
Oh no. Oh no, Red Snail's pulling ahead. It's okay, Yellow Snail. I'll know no matter what happens when this is all said and done. You tried your best. And that's all that really matters. Oh, Yellow Snail! Curses! Your snail lost by a thin margin. Actually, the snail's under the false belief that it won. Oh, no, the snail's looking over here. Here, I'll give you some money. Act like you won. You got 30G. Nice! You and I did good, Yellow Snail. We make a great team, kid. Someday, I'll come back and I'll buy you all away from all this. You'll be able to live your life in peace. Bluke Acres. Hotland. Temi Village? What is this Temi Village? Ooh, hello, Box. Long time no see. Goodbye, Tough Glove. Hmm. Nothing down here, I guess. Whoa there, I got some neat junk for sale. Oh, hey, it's you, old turtle guy. I am really sorry about threatening you the last time I came through here. I'm going to keep one of my inventory slots open just in case I need it, but... Your crab apples and CT, cloudy, gla cloudy glasses and torn notebook are all appreciated items. Thanks, buddy. Well, tell me about yourself. Now, I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> What's that emblem? Oh, yeah, that little symbol next to you. Eh? You don't know what this is. What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Room. The emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say, old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. But what does the emblem mean? That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh, there's a prophecy? Well, tell me it. Oh, yeah, well, a prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the Angel of Death, a harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Heh <laughs> heh. Tell me about the king. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Yeah? Why do I call him Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. Uh, I don't remember it. Uh, but if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have recalled it by then. Uh, can you tell me anything about Undyne? Quite possibly how to talk her down into not trying to kill me? Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the royal guard. I find it odd that the exact word you use is determination. Doesn't? Right, so humans have determination, and their souls can endure beyond death. But monsters can't do that. But we saw Undyne do it. Like, seriously. She endured beyond death to fight me. It didn't last very long, and she did end up melting. But... Hmm, I wonder what it is exactly that makes her so special. Was she born with it? Did she learn it? Is she an illicit monster mutant? A monster-human hybrid? Well, who can say? Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide! Hooray! <laughs> oh, thanks, old man. I'm all filled with nice cream, so I'm okay. Be careful out there, kid. I can do this. This can be done. Oh! Back to the history lesson, eh? Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. Huh. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. That makes sense. Seven magicians made it. Seven magicians need to break it. And only monsters have held on to the magical ways. 
But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Well, that's, that's just untrue. There is an entrance. And I mean, the garbage gets here somehow. Oh, hey, it's this area. This puzzle isn't dumb. It's just fine. Oh, what do we got? Special enemy Temmie appears to defeat me. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Oh, cute! Pets you! Uh, uh, get your weird snake arm away from me, please. Ah, I'm allergic. Oh, oh please don't glump me. Flex? You flex at Temmie. No muscles are not cute! Temmie, are you okay? Wink. No! Hi? Oh, now I'm fighting an Aaron. Consarn it. Get out of here. Ready for my next flex. Fine. Get out of here. Consarn it. Oh. Oh. Huh. Wonder what's down here. Uh -huh. Oh. Oi! Welcome to Tem Village. Oh! It's the Temmy Village. Oi! I'm Temmy! And this is my friend, Temmy! Oi! I'm Temmy! And this is my friend, Temmy! Oi! I'm Temmy! Don't forget my friend! Hi. I'm Bob. Oh. Okay. Rich history of Tem. You rode on a dragon to get here? I'm so confused. Oi! You should check out Tem Shop! Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tem Shop. Human, such a cute statue of Tem. Very famous. Very. Tem, watch egg. Egg, we'll watch. Tem, proud parent. It's hard boiled. P Tem, heard humans allergic to Tem. Dad, okay, Tem, understand. Tem, also allergic to Tem. Oh. Uh, Wait, are you allergic to me or yourself? Oh god. Are you okay? Oives! Oh my god. Feeling of being watched. Oh, it's mushroom. What do you got? Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? Oh, jeez, those are your nostrils, not your eyes. It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my hyphae. My struggle to pull away. My struggle to escape. But alas, to no avail. I'd probably go crazy if I had to live in the Temi village as well. Just saying. Okay, what do you got at the t Oh my god! What do you got at the Tem shop? I see a stick, a bone, magic potion, some socks, Tem flakes, Tem flakes, Tem flakes, and Tem pay for college. You know, Temi could probably use some higher education. What, what do you got? Uh, hello, Temi. Oi! I'm Temi! Oh, thanks. Well, tell me about yourself. Oi! I'm Temmie. What? T could you expand on this rich Temmie history? Us Thames have a deep history. No, I guess not. Uh, so what? what's up with the Tem shop? I see you got a nice cup of tea there. Oh, okay. I'm... I'm out. Boy! You feel something. You're filled with... Determination. I'm done! I'm done with the Temmie village! John! Determination!